Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Baldur's Gate. So I'm playing this blind without any hints. Let's see, where are we at? This is probably my latest save game. Made it to a town, I guess. Sorted. Quick save. I know there's a journal. Is this a journal? So they wish me to travel to Nashkel. I don't know if that's where I'm at now or not. Hey, Bo, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> he says, spoiler hint, don't die. <laughs> uh, yeah, try not to. Let's see, traveling to Nashville. Cause of the iron shortage. Okay. Yeah, I remember we had to go south. Where we're at right now. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Thespian extraordinaire. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Should have seen it coming. This iron thing has to be all they're doing. You ain't from the south, are you? If you are, then I don't trust you. Okay, so I think we are probably there. Bear ghost about hostilities between something. There are some rumors in Baragost about hostilities between... Oh! So maybe we aren't there. We're in some place called Baragost? Okay. Yeah. Bo says, I'm not in Nashville. I think it's says in your map. Yeah, Bear Ghost. Let's look at the world map. So we need to get all the way down here. Okay. Auto map area map background. Okay. Why did I do that again? Was it the alt key? There's some key. Oh, it stays on, I see. Nothing in there. That's your only tip for tonight, Bo? I appreciate it. Commoner. Locked. Ah, okay. Um, I'm going to do a quick save. Quick save. So where's my lockpick? Is it this guy? No, it's got to be her, right? Thieving. Certainly. She gained ten experience. I'm on it. Right, what's this then? Locked. Yes, certainly. Agony Manny Necklace. Silver Ring. Long Sword. 1d8. 
slashing speed factor 5 not usable by so the finder druid can't wear it that or use it that's kind of weird his druids aren't allowed to use cutting weapons like clerics yeah druid must be like very similar a beast master can't use it that's odd Okay. You rang. Sorted. <clears throat> See anything else? Right, what's this then? Commoner. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. That old caster school was a storehouse of knowledge and magic, but them that haunt the place are no better for it. Better dead longer than you were alive must tend to addle the mind. Yes? Go on, then. Smith. I'm on it. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Speak up, speak up. Hello, friend. What can I do for you this day? I need to trouble yourself. I'm just browsing. You can get out of my face is what you can do. <laughs> you can do nothing. I'll not buy armor from a shop in a backwater village such as this. Nothing, thanks. I was just leaving. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You can expect nothing but the best service from the Thunderhammer Smithy. Best armors in the land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak to Tyrum himself. Yeah, that's Terum, I guess. Kiss me, Blarney. What you wish done? Could you show us what you have for sale? Okay. This is what I have. Barul's retort plus one. Hmm. So what's the difference between a short bow and long bow? It doesn't say it does any extra damage. Let's see the difference. Okay, long bow is plus one Thaco. It's a tiny bit slower. Better range and accuracy. Doesn't say what the range is. Composite longbow actually does more damage and plus one Taiko. Requires 18 strength. Weight 10. We definitely can't use that on the my guy. Let's see, who is it? Is it? Bruce, the monk, he won't have a bow. I think it's her. Slip. She can't use longbow anyway. So D4 take in. How much money do I have? 398. It's his strength. Now there's a way to tell that. Let's see. Inventory. Record. Oh, he does have enough strength. So, since he's fighting in the back, I think we should definitely get him a composite bow. I stand ready with ease. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Yeah, 
inventory. Okay. Need to get some arrows for him now. Hey, Quintran, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I wonder if there's a way to get out of this without ending my conversation. Let's see. Doesn't seem like there is. Hmm? Okay, she has arrows. Okay. Quick weapons. So, base, that goes 20, dexterity modification minus 2, proficiencies plus 2, health minus 1, positive longbow minus 1. Okay, so the, the negatives are good, so it's still just like regular first edition, well, the gold box games. Keep having to remind myself this is second edition, which introduced Thaco. So, 18... 17, 16. It's Thaco 16. Okay, cool. All right, now, is there anybody How else? May I be of assistance? Lifesaver, he must be the cleric. What does he have? Why is this a weapon? Oh, it's a sling. <laughs> what in the world? Doing great, glad to hear, Quintran. Kagan and Minsk on the same party? These are all player-created characters. I created all these characters myself, Quitran. I'm playing blindly, so I haven't even read the manual or anything. I know nothing about it. So I'm probably doing some silly things. Hey there, Shane Selva. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, plus, proficiencies plus two is bad because you don't have points and bow. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. This is the first time I've ever played this, by the way. So um, I appreciate minimal or no no hints would be great. I, I appreciate when people give me hints, but I don't I don't really want to hear them because when I try to play blind, I try to figure it out myself. Uh, it might be silly, but that's uh, what I try to do the first time. Because the reason why I always say that to, to new people is because you can only play a game the first time one time. So... It gives you a different experience when you figure things out on your own. And I'm very familiar with D&D &D rules. I'm just not familiar with this game at all. No, no problem at all, guys. I'm just, I, I mean, it happens. I've done the same to, with other streamers, too. I give them hints and didn't realize they didn't want any. So, no, no worries at all. Okay, so... Let's try to talk with this guy again. You have but to ask. You right. Get right, everybody out of the way so I can click on them. What is it this time? You have but to ask. I can't click on him. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Yes. I should attend to I can the make whatever you wish for a week. Let's see what else you have. This this thing's interesting. Is this a plus one weapon? It might allow us to hit certain um, enemies that we can't hit with normal equipment. Axe. It's really fast too. Speed factor of four. No, Goldbox has Thaco. Goldbox is supposed to be first edition D and D, A D and D, but it's really one point five edition. I always say because it does have Thaco. 
but first edition, it's supposed to not have it. Shane Selva says, are you playing from jail? <laughs> You're wearing a prison orange. That's funny. I'll tell my wife. My wife got me this shirt. <laughs> She'll get a kick out of that. Do you have a high charisma character? I can't remember what party you made. Gosh, Bo, I don't know. It's been almost a month since I played, so I have no idea. <laughs> hey, Jeff, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? That that the jail that is old RPGs feels good, man. <laughs> All right, this would probably be a good thing to get because it's a plus one weapon. The damage, let's see, let's add this up. It does five and a half on average, which is more than a long sword. Uh, so let's have the dwarf see what he has. He has a bastard sword. This does eight. Yeah, this only does four on average, and it's slower. Weighs 10. We're definitely buying this thing. It says you can slash it. Melee slashing. Okay. Bye. Did it automatically put it in there? You had a battle axe too? This still does less damage. Not sure why I have this equipped. I guess if I run into skeletons, the crushing damage will do full damage versus an axe doing half damage. So I'll keep that. I do have a bunch of stuff to sell here. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of this. Okay, but anyway, let's see about Charisma. Uh, record. Charisma 8, 9, 8, 8, 12... Eight. So the monk has the highest. Yes. Let's see of if he can sell and get any I more can money. Make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Is there a way to show? There isn't a party inventory. It looks like. Okay. So I'll have to, I guess, drag all this stuff over. I want to sell it. Unless maybe, oh, that says ground. Yeah, we don't want to put it on the ground. Uh, what kind of weapon does he have? Long sword. Speed factor's quicker. Yeah, I don't need the bastard sword then. Leather armor. Looks like we have so much stuff here to get rid of. Silver ring. I don't know if those do anything or not. It doesn't look like it does. Halberd? When did we get that? So this does, again, five and a half damage on average, but it's a lot slower. And it's two-handed and weighs 15. Nope, get rid of that sucker. Uh, small shield. I think we need that. Short sword. What is he using now? Long sword, okay. Bo says, I love the lore on unique weapons. Always found that immersive. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I agree. I can make whatever you wish for a week. Okay, now we can sell some stuff. Although he doesn't want to buy some stuff. He doesn't want to buy quarter stabs. Can't blame him. Albert's only worth two. Okay. Let's 
Wait a minute. You're using a quarter staff. Yeah, I guess that's better than a dagger. Okay. Eh. What now, I wonder? Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Let me save it. We're gonna try to open this thing up here. What? Third thief. Certainly. Gain 10 experience. Spear, 1d6, two-handed. Uh-oh. Thieves! Okay, that'll be a reload then. It's interesting. There's some chests that we can open, and we and even when people have been in the room, and we didn't get caught, but here we get caught. Let me reload. Okay, so we know that. I'm not going to open any of this stuff then. Let's just get out of here. I'm on it. Quintran says, I served the Flaming Fist. I knew it. It's because of line of sight. It's a little weird in the game. Okay. You gonna be back in 10, 15 minutes, Bo? All right. Salt. Let's see, world map. Where do I get that? M. Commoner. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine side such as yourself. Bet you this iron shore is just another plot. Oh yeah, we already heard this. You rang. Before we leave, let's double check the rest of the area. Something on your mind? And pretty rare these days. What with the supply of Nashville drying up? Trade routes are all been shut down. I meant heard from Waterdeep. I was just in Waterdeep in uh, Treasures of the Savage Frontier. There are many rumors. Okay. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Can't talk now. My children are waiting for me at home. Not good to leave them alone for long. But both the husband and me must look for a way to keep gold coming in. Hard to keep food on the table when there is no work to be had. I hear you. I hear you. Something on your mind? Where did Basilis come from? No one's sure, but I heard he may have lived in Zental Keep before it was destroyed. I thought everyone died when it crumbled. I curse the fates that he lived through it. Oh, cool. Must be a tavern. Okay, let's right, what's this then? move out of the way and let's have the monk talk with people. Oh, simple talk. Hey, friend. Still Good feel the arrows such as yourself. sting in my haunches. Mind you, be polite to the small folk. Let's you limp home as I did. Halflings may look small, but they sure hurt when they attack in numbers. Keep their distance. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine side such as yourself. I hear the Zentarum have been spotted about lately. I bet you them riffraff are up to no good. Can't trust a single one of them. You can't. They'll step over their own mother just for the sake of doing it. Leave me be, or the guard will have you. Wow, you guys are real adventurers. Ain't too often that country girls like me get to see a real venture. Must be pretty exciting to go to far off places and meet so many different people. Yes. Aye, the world has fallen apart around us. And here before me lie a band of groveling adventurers praying on my every word to hear rumors of the latest dungeon fed. 
Quintran says, man, you are so lucky doing a blind playthrough. You mean, you mean I'm lucky that I haven't read or researched the game? Sorry to bother your highness. Dungeons? <laughs> hmm. I'm going to do this first. Well, it says groveling. This is groveling. So I think I'll say dungeons. Quintran says, yes, being able to experience this game is amazing. Yeah, exactly. It It's so fun playing games without any knowledge of them. And no hints and working through them. It's very rewarding. Especially RPGs and adventure games. Okay. Dungeons. You're pathetic. Okay, I'll rattle it off for you like I did the last adventure. And the one before that... <laughs> I have no doubt you'll share their fate. Let's see, there are ruins of an old mage school to the southeast. Traps, dead things that try to kill you, you know the shtick. Then there's the firewire, no, firewind bridge. Ghosts winding narrow passageways, some poetry, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I can't think of a life more tedious than the life of an adventure. Personally, I get far more out of wandering around aimlessly and scratching my arse like this. <laughs> okay, southeast. There's a mage school. Who's this guy? Yes? Jornan. They did quite a number with me, those half-ogres. There's a band of them fortifying themselves in the mountains southwest of here. If you could give them a taste of justice, that would make me... That would do me proud. Okay, so southeast is a mage school. Southwest is half ogres. Leave southwest is half oh, ogres. Okay, we already heard about that. Leave me be. Oh, hey, Grunkin, one up. Welcome to the stream. How are you two doing? Bunch of nihilists in town, Grunk says. And 1UP says, first there, I think, was sarcasm. Yeah. Definitely seems like it. I think my husband may take it the wrong way if he saw the bunch of you talking to me in the street. He's got a real nasty temper, and he's real jealous, too. Sorry to be rude, but it's for your own good. Yeah, I think I talked to this one. Hey, friend. Good nope. to meet a fine sod such as yourself. A right evil man, that basilisk. He don't just kill people, he makes them into zombies and pretends they're his family. What would make a man do that except an evil? Hmm. Basilisk who murdered family, okay. Yes. All the iron that comes from Nashville has been tainted. Those Amnion. Up to their bottle-headed tricks, I bet. We should just march over their, that little mine of theirs. I bet they are just faking all the trouble so as to weaken our guards and soldiers. Well, we will be ready for them. Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything else to explore here. Mark I got some cheap beer for you. This guy's making a bunch of noise. Quintran says if he is a paladin healing from his wound, he could just use lay on hands. Yeah, that's true. Show me a list of services. Oh. So he has rooms and drinks. Lunian Topaz Wine, Lurin's Best Ale, Suz Ale, Westgate Ruby Wine. There's been a big influx of flaming fist into town lately. I don't know what all of the extra troops are here for, but it puts me on edge. Certainly it does. Ah! All of those flaming fists we keep seeing.
Hmm. I've been transferred to Baragos. The presence is apparently a little of little comfort to the locals. Interesting. All right, so everyone's heard. Everyone's a rubbernecker then. Is that it? Old Gurk had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a batch of paltry sazloi. Yeah, yeah, it's old news, and if you make one crack about the cloak wood being an appropriate place to lose it, at least, I'll put your liver on the menu. Now move on and let the next people in line have their laugh. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I could have my thief come up here. What? Surely. We'll see if um, we can sneak it. This guy's standing right here. Maybe if... Oh, wait a minute. There's somebody... No, there isn't. That's a stool. Let's see if we can make her go over here and be out of line of sight. Hey, it worked. Or did it? This guy's walking up here. Okay, it worked. What now? I want a simple task. Ultima 6 was the same way. Ultima 6 had it where, um, line of sight was used. Yes. Simple donder said. Empty. Empty. Okay, I don't Wait, see anything no. else. Any more ladders? Nope. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, of course. I think we're ready <laughs> yeah. to get out of here. Go off then. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, it's raining. Hmm? Let me see, I don't think I've been here. No, I haven't. What? Certainly. Oh. It's a commoner standing there. So it only sometimes triggers theft, I guess. Huh. Nothing in there. You right. I'm on it. Huge spider, okay. We got a battle. Can I get any info on it? All right, where's the monk? Go on, man. Okay, you rush this one. How do I know I'm slashing with it? It shows green there, like he's going to attack with it. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, you go punch that one. You're going to attack with your bow. You shoot this one. How may I be of assistance? Uh, you're going to attack with your sling. Yes. What do you have? You have a bow. You shoot that one. What? And you shoot that one. I guess I don't have any spells memorized. Get over here. Huge spider attacks. 
Okay, we hit one of them. It shows the weapons, it shows... So I think we're still attacking. Bruce poisoned. Takes six damage. Oh, he's a goner. Anybody have a healing potion? I thought somebody did. Potion healing. Quick items. Ah, that's how they show up. Okay. F11. I don't know if you can give potions to someone else. I'm assuming you can't. Yeah, during combat it doesn't look like I can uh, drag those over. Okay. Yeah, Bruce, we need to get you the heck out of here. One damage from poison. What is it this time? Yes. Why is this hidden? Oh, I got collapsed somehow. What is it? Must have hit a key or something. Bruce Death, Bruce Dive. Hey, Bo, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Quintran says, of course it was a monk. Not even surprised. Yeah, I closed the menu somehow. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Hmm? Is he shooting? He has 59 arrows. Bow takes five piercing damage and he's poisoned. You ride. Bow attacks spider. I'm okay. What I'm gonna do is not have actions on these guys. I'm gonna see if they're attacking. From life saver. Okay, so my guys are still attacking. I'm assuming this little icon above the. The top right corner shows that they are actually doing an action. What? I don't see one on hers. It's that little bitty thing in the upper right, I guess. I could use a little patching up. Bow saves versus death. Go on, then. Okay, I use the healing potion. Okay, we shot down one. Already getting 270 experience. Are we attacking him still? Lifesaver critical hit. Each spire takes 10 missile damage. Uh, he's not attacking. There we go. Yeah, so you have to, once one dies, it looks like you have to reassign the actions. Unless I turn on AI control. Yeah, 
You have to pick yourself. Go on, then. Ah, now it shows a potion. Okay. So yeah, you click on the potion and then you click on who you want to use it. Okay. Everybody's attacking. No, you're not. Spider death. No, I'm going to attack Bo. Mm -hmm. Spider. It's getting kind of messy. I can't see the spider. That is the spider right there. Yeah. You right click, it makes a noise. What is it? Use a little patching up. Auto wound. Oh, are highly wounded. Let's move you over here. He's gonna die. Okay, we killed it. I could use a little patching up. So the good news is he doesn't throw this. He swings it. Which is what I wanted to test. Hey Jimmy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You know, there's probably a mod out there that'll replace the death gurgle of enemies with the classic old Black Dead scream. <laughs> no, please no. Okay, how do we exit combo? Okay, combat's over. Yes, not a problem. Okay, so at least now I know how combat works. So now we can reload and actually try a real combat. Let's see this one here. Speed. Right, what's this at? Thought I hit quick save. Maybe I didn't hit quick save before I did this. It's quick enough. I don't think there was anything in this one. Okay. Jimmy says, I do like how moddable these Infinity Engine games are. Might like that for future Iron Man runs. You right. Okay. Let me see. Does the mage have any spells? Why do you not have any spells? Yes. Memorized one out of one. So why can we not cast? Thought I memorized this. Memorized. Cleric memorized three out of three. Can we cast all of these? Like any one we want? Oh! Wow, that's confusing as. Hold on. Did I just cast it? I just cast it. This is the spell to cast. Ah, okay. Okay. Morale, attack and damage. Range. Okay. Stop another creature. To die for a single round. At the end of the round, the creature awakens.
Six or more hit die are entitled to save it. Okay. Significant protection against melee and magical attacks. Alright, so this is, protects the cleric himself. Feeling of doom overwhelming the target. For duration of spell, the target receives minus two penalty to all ro rolls, including fake wound saving throws. Hey, Boxy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You're awake? Glad to hear it. Quintron says, how much intelligence does your mage have? I think, um, I, I don't know. I think I got him 18 or close to it. Divine Casters knows their entire grimoire. Okay. Yeah, just like in Gold Box. Okay. I understand how that works now, the memorized. I thought it was strange here. I This, this was hard to see that you clicked down here. It doesn't look obvious. Okay, so I understand. Protection from evil. Magical barrier around the recipient. Minus two penalty. See, I don't know if giant spiders would be considered evil or not. I wouldn't think they would. I would think they'd be neutral. Sanctuary. Okay. All right. I think I think I want to do a bless and two cure light wounds. All right, let's go look at the mage now. So what do you have memorized? What is this? Chromatic Orb. Okay. Two foot diameter spear. When thrown, the spears head unerrily to the target. Each orb will do damage to the target against there's no save. First level 1d4 damage and blinds the target for one round. Okay. And then he has a magic missile now. Okay. All right. Now, mm -hmm. is there a way to put ma put it like magic in here? Quick spell. There is. Okay, let me go back to the mage book and see if I can figure that out. Quick items. Let's see it here. Let me look on this screen. Abilities. Skills. Okay, I don't see it there either. You'd think it'd be right here. I can't right click. F four. Maybe I can only add it to the list in combat. I guess we'll find, we'll figure that out. All right, so we'll do a bless oh, on the Roll dwarf up. fighter when we send him in. Boxy says that scream with all the why that I did. That's how glad I am the, the work week is over. 
Quinchan says Sanctuary from the 1980s Iron Man Iron Maiden debut album. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, yeah, I fought some giant spiders, bow, and two of my characters died. So I didn't want to... Yes. I didn't want that to happen. I'm trying to figure out combat. It's a little complicated doing this blind without reading the manual. But I think I have a decent feel for it now. So I you're going to cast... Special abilities. Divine favor. Exaltation. Enables a priest to aid and protect any being other than themselves. By touch, cast removes effect of fear, sleep. This other. Protected against spells. For one turn. I'm assuming poison's on a spell. Okay, this grants the caster plus one bonus to hit and damage. Rolls every third level. Turn undead. I just can't figure out how to add a spell. It's confusing. Why won't it let me cast Bless outside of combat? I don't think that did anything. <laughs> okay, well anyway, I don't know how that's how that works. It doesn't seem to make much sense. Alright, let's see. What is it this time? Yeah, I can't cast anything. This is super confusing. Uh, no, right-clicking doesn't do anything here. It doesn't do it on the spells. Left-clicking doesn't do anything. This shows stuff. So, I don't know. Looks you like we'll have to do this without spells, because I can't figure that out yet. Uh, I kind of want to focus fire here. Yes. I stand, stand ready. ready. Okay, the melee guys focus fire on him, and then everybody yes. else shoot at this one. What is it? And she can't cast anything either. I'm curious what would happen if I turned on the AI. I'll see how I do here in this fight, and then I may reload if someone dies and see what the AI does different. Wow. Why did... That spider took 13 damage from bow? How did he do that much damage? With a bow. I'm so confused. Save versus death. Go on. I think he threw one of these. He did. I don't want to throw, I want to swing. That one's badly injured.
Okay, he's gonna use a potion. <laughs> Bo says, I'm just that good. And Jimmy says, combat is probably my biggest hang up with Infinity Engines. I ask people, is this how it works in actual D&D? Everyone gloms on the enemies. Gold box always seems more accurate. Yeah, so far I agree that the I definitely prefer the gold box game combat because it's turn based and you can see what's going on. My biggest complaint right now is I can't see what's going on. Everything's so tiny and smashed together. But it could just be that I'm not used to it yet. Here we go. Everybody's doing something? Yes. You need to do something. Uh, you need to attack this one. Okay. Huge spider death. Target gone. Okay. Oh, this gulp as he drank the potion. I thought he was gulping because he was like scared. You ride. Okay. That one's uninjured. I don't like this guy's position here. Mm -hmm. Let me come up there and help. Ah! Huh? Oh. That missile damage that Bo did was that axe he threw. Okay, now I understand why he did so much damage. Okay. What? I thought it was the bow and arrow, but that's that's the Deporte character. Bow save versus death. Bruce is poisoned again. Man, this monk is terrible. Let's see. Killed one. Killed another. It would help if I could cast spells. Okay, we killed that one. Is this monk? What's Bruce? Has he even done any damage yet? Six damage. Yeah, he's pretty bad. He's gonna die because I'm not gonna go get rid of this poison. Stealth. Maybe I should just have him run away with stealth next time. I stand ready. Nobody's attacking, okay. Four missile damage. So he's throwing these. I don't want to throw them. How do you determine when you just swing? Maybe you only have to have one. Last time I just had one. Like I split the rest up and then he just swung the one. Maybe that's how it works. Spit it out. 
I'm on it. Okay. All right. Well, that was a little better. We only had one death that time. But we did throw a bunch of those axes, which I didn't want to do. Hey, Demonic, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Can you zoom in? I have no idea. I didn't see a way to do it. You can zoom out. Font size. Yeah, I don't see a way to zoom. Zoom lock. Maybe there is a key that's not on the menu. You rang. Okay. Well, anyway, we need to reload one again. I'm going to turn on AI and see if they do any better or if they're just really stupid. Speed. Salted. You nailed it the first time with the axe when you tried to change it. They made some changes to make the turn base work on real time, but it's been a long time since played AD&D 2nd Edition. Okay, so we'll see what the computer does here. Foxy says, I am watching with interest how you play Baldur's Gate. No spoilers. Since I have finished this about 500 times. Yeah, I appreciate it. No spoilers. So AI's on and we're, we're just standing around like noobs. He's just now attacking. Bow saves versus death. Boy, computer sucks. Why are they not attacking me? What? Do you have to do it per character? You don't do it per character. We're just standing around. That's weird. Load. Yeah, I don't understand that. It, it's like it wasn't doing anything. Moxie says, yeah, the AI has about 50 IQ. <laughs> oh, mouse wheel. Hey, it does work. You're right, Bo. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel. And zoom out. I don't know why I didn't Boy, try that. Guy? That'll help. Funtran says, I think there is something else you should do to make the AI do stuff. Hmm. Party AI is on. Select all. I don't know. You rang. I'll try it one more time. Let me let me move everybody over here and then see if he acts okay. If they act okay. So that guy shot. Your main character has been killed. So so that's interesting. So if the main character dies, it's game over. It doesn't matter about the rest of the characters. <laughs> you can create complex scripts for it, Boxy says, but it still sucks after that. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Artificial ignorance. That's right, Bo. That's my thing. That's what I call it. All right. Well, 
I have a little better understanding Salt. now. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to split potions. There's a way to do that. Let me see. Drink. No, we don't want to do that. Chip doesn't work. Control doesn't work. About alt. Alt doesn't work. Control shift? No. That just puts it on the ground. Drag drop? Yeah, the interface isn't intuitive for splitting these. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't figure out how to split them. you're going to be up front, I guess we'll give that to you. You have an armor class of one. The monk is five. That's why he keeps getting hit. We need to really keep this guy back. This is three, two, two, six. Somehow here I was able to split him. I don't know how I did that. Not intuitive enough. Spit it out. All right. Maybe a double, a rapid double click. Rapid double click was it, Bo? Uh, yeah, that's. I don't know if that's standard anymore, but to me, that's not intuitive. Okay. So that's intuitive. We can combine them that way. So I'm going to see if when I have just one equipped, if he just keeps it and doesn't throw it. Uh, let's see. So the potions. Let's give one to him. Although I'm going to try to keep him back. Okay. Let me let my dog out real quick, guys. I'll take a quick break here. Be back in uh, just a few minutes.
Okay, everybody, I am back. Let's see. Oh, what are we doing here? Quintran says, I think you need to select if you want to throw or melee, even if you have one axe. Hmm. You rag. I'm not sure how to do that. I wonder if the, the color indicates that. It shows a sword. Sword. Salted. I'm trying to see if it changes. Sword. It's always a sword. So, again, it's not intuitive. I can't tell if that means I'm swinging or not. It doesn't tell me that. Right-clicking doesn't do it. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, the monk, we're going to have him hide. Because he's just mm -hmm. terrible. Hey, now why is this equipped all of a sudden? Why can I not cast it? Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Oh. So this... Yes? Now it disappeared. Ah. So the color on it means... Okay, the color means since it's gray that it i haven't probably had enough time pass so this is very misleading this makes it look like i've memorized it but i haven't it's in progress let's see if his show better now let's go back here how may i be of assistance yeah so he hasn't memorized his bless yet but he has two cure light wounds I still I still can't see how to get that on the quick menu. Oh, now it appeared on the quick menu. Okay. That's strange. Uh, let's see. What? So we don't actually want to do a cure Not yet. We're going to do focus yes. fire. Certainly. What? You don't have anything memorized yet. Such menial tasks. Okay. You're hiding. Double click the icon. I tried that. It didn't work. Go on, man. That's all that happens with that. And Bo says, I honestly have no idea about not throwing hand weapons. I don't think I've ever encountered that, lol. <laughs> Leave it to me to be stumbling through and find something different. See, when I looked at this, it says damage type melee slashing and damage type thrown missile. That's why I bought this, because I didn't want to throw them. But I can't tell when not to do it. No, wait a minute. Why does it show... You can change the current selected ability by clicking on one. What? Well, what's the difference? Does this mean throw because it's small? And this means swing because it's big? It's showing it big now. Maybe maybe that's how that works. I don't know. That's kind of weird. We're going to find out. 
That one's small, and then that one's big. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? Both says zero and, and two. Yeah. Big melee, small throwing. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I'm trying not to beat beat it up too too hard because if I just read the manual, it would explain it. But since I do game reviews, I try to play blindly to just see how intuitive something is, and that's not intuitive to me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, you're not doing anything. Yes. You're not either. Attack that one. You show a little sling thing right there. Stand You're not ready. doing anything. Attack this one. You show an arrow. You're hiding. Now I wonder. And okay. Let's see how this round goes. What happened? Speed out. Okay. Nice. Bo takes six points of damage from Spider and he's poisoned. Uh, man, I just can't get away from the poison. Okay, we killed one of the spiders. Let's get the monk out of the way. He's just. Let me turn this off. You ride. Right. Heal. Him. What? Shoot this one. What is it? Shoot this one. Oh, they die. Okay, now we'll have the monk come up from yes. behind and hit this one. Okay, Bo got healed. How may I be so now you attack. Okay, we hit it. Everybody's still attacking. Okay, killed that one. What is it this time? Yes? Oh, now I wonder. Yes? What? The monk can't hit him anyway. Okay, killed that one. I need to use another healing potion or let me let me cast cure light wounds one more time. Poison's gonna kill him though. Poison's so brutal though, as it is. Yeah. It, no. Did I kill him all? Hold on, where's the other spider? I see him red somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Yes. Spit it out. I could use a little patching up. Okay. How may I be of assistance? I think everybody's attacking me right now. I'm not sure if there's a way to cure that poison. There's nobody hitting this. Eight damage. And he's poison. Okay. I'm not going to be able to fight this. 
Being level one characters is just not working. We're gonna keep losing one or two characters. Especially since I don't have any spells memorized. You right. Now his poison looks like it wore off. Does it tell me that? It doesn't tell me the poison wore off. It just happens. Okay. Well, I might be able to do this. The cleric had an armor class of two, and he still ended up getting hit. Can we not view them? Oh, when they die, I guess they're permanently dead. Okay. I'll try one more time. This is probably designed for higher level characters than what I have, is my guess. Hmm? Shows he has a magic missile there, so we'll see what happens when we get him. You right. I'm on it. Yes. F1 magic missile. It's not working. You have to pick the target first. F1. Right click doesn't work. Double click doesn't work. Not a problem. Double click and that doesn't work. I don't know. It seems pretty strange. Okay. Let's try something different. How may I be of assistance? All the people in the back shoot at this one. What? Yes. Stealth. Go on, man. Oh, I have to do this thing again, don't I? See, I right click. Shows a big axe now. I hear it shows a little axe. I'm so confused. Okay, it shows a big axe now. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, we killed one of the spiders. That one that got close, that's the one I wanted to kill. So now... Let's get rid of this. That one's really injured, let's finish him off. Let's move you over here. I stand ready. What is it this time? Yes. Yes. Okay, so now we got this one left. Speak it out. Hmm? Yes. Focus fire. What is it? 
One up says mage armor. The mage no, the mage has zero armor. She just has 18 dexterity. Hey Cody, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Okay, we got another one killed. One left. Yes. So they're already attacking. This one's not. What? <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. You right. I'm on it. How may I be of assistance? If you like this, be sure to check out every other game on the engine. Uh, yeah, I'm playing this blind. It's been the the interface is a little not intuitive, but uh, I'm having fun. I think we killed him. All right. Success finally. Man, that was rough. Glad you're doing well, Cody. Still not poison, knock on wood. Yeah, success, no poison. Just took five reloads. At least I kind of understand a little more now about how combat works. I still don't understand the spells and why I can't cast them. All right, thief. What do we got here? Worn out boots. Good boots are designed for the foot of an individual. Bottle of wine. And our gem. Hmm. Okay, let's turn this back. Okay, so that's it. I'm Can we rest in. here? How do I do that? Find an inn or rest outside. Okay. Cody says, I love these games. And Bo says, nice lore. Boots. They go on your feet, stupid. <laughs> yeah. I'm on it. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm? Simpler done than say. You rang salted. So how are we doing? It looks like we still have a good amount of the town to explore. Zoom out a little bit. Cody says there's a game like this called Torment that is very, very light on combat. Only a handful of battles the entire game. Yeah, Bo has actually posted a link to that um, where it was free on... Was it GOG? Is that where it was at? Go on, man. Right, what's this at? Here now, get out. I don't like your type in here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Marl. I'm on it. Hey, Marl. Spit it out. Right, what's this at? Are you talking it's to me? free on Twitch Prime. Ah, oh, okay. Are you talking to me? It's an Amazon Prime free game. Gotcha. Told you to get lost. No need to get all bent out of shape. There's plenty of bar for us all. Sorry, I don't want any trouble. I'm just going my way. I'll go where I like, pal. You got a problem with that? You say me one more word and I swear I'll run you through your back off. <laughs> oh boy, what do we want to say here? Probably getting a, a brawl if we say something like that. I'm going to do this one. I have a problem with morons armed to the teeth, poking through ruins, and stirring up creatures better left alone. 
Joker's like you b blow through town with monsters in tow and then out again, leaving us locals to clean up the mess. I just do what I think is right. We solve a lot more trouble than we cause. Well, nearly all, all, anyway. <laughs> Whoa, go easy, keep it friendly. How about I buy you and the rest of the round, uh, bar around? I say that I've been about had enough of your tone, mister. Stop pushing or I push back. <laughs> I guess we'll buy everybody around. I ain't your friend, you ain't mine. It'll be a cold day on the ninth plane before I drink with the likes of you. Best you keep your filthy dungeon money to yourself. Better yet, how about I put you and your dead money back in the ground where it belongs? We got combat, okay. Alright, Marl. Let's see how good you are. I stand ready. What is it this time? What? See if you're as tough as you say you are. Let's get him away. Right <laughs> He's dead already. Alright, Marl, you made a mistake, buddy. We got 650 experience. <laughs> You rang. Nice. Right, what's this then? Okay, save. Killed Marl. Go on then. Sort it. Duncan. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Oh, he might, he hey, dropped some on the ground me. too. I don't want any trouble. You murdering bastard, the flaming fist will deal with you. Hey, he attacked me. It's his fault. You rang. Go on then. He didn't have to attack me. Spit it out. I'm on it. Let's see. You rang. Right, what's this then? Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine son. Summer tells of a magical yourself. gate in the bottom of the school ruins. No one knows where it leads. Anywhere is better than that accursed place, if you ask me. Why's well, been getting prickly on me arm? One up says you can fight him unarmed, and I believe you leave him unconscious. Oh, that's funny. If the city watch cannot protect us from raids, why am I paying taxes for? I'd be better off hiring mercenaries than trying to rely on the city guards. Nobody's fool enough to want to guard my caravans, though. Cowards all. Guess I'll just wait out the crisis here. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. One up says, journal update. A drunkard couldn't shut up. Ate my sword the wrong way. Was there a right way? Needs to say he's dead. <laughs> there should have been a merchant caravan, though. Or through here just yesterday. Odd that they have not arrived yet. They were supposed to bring iron ore down from the north. But they suffered the same fate as the rest. Leave me be. Or the guard will have you. Who are those mercenaries that the whole town's been talking about? Well, get on my way. We don't need the likes of you causing trouble. Don't you go irritate those bandits. It just makes them even more vicious. Go on, then. Right, what's this, then? Right, what's this, then? Now. Oh, of course, <laughs> yeah. Spit it out. I'm on it. Algermon. You rang. Sorted. What you want? I don't want any visitors. Leave me alone. Go on then. I'm on it.
Yes, certainly. Spit it out. I'm all Nothing right. Nothing to steal in these areas. Hmm? Simpler done than said. Locked, okay. Zircon gem. Brownish crystal found in ig igneous volcanic rocks. You right, salted. Pays to have a thief in this part in this game. Okay, did we talk? I don't think I'm we talked it. with this person. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Do you mind? I'm off to go shopping. You must join me for a while. I insist. When a lady offers me a drink, how can I refuse? You do seem to be enjoying yourself. You are the life of the party you are. This all reminds me of a time when Betsy and I were ill. Oh, I'm so silly. I don't know a Betsy. Tee hee hee hee. Hick. Ooh. <laughs> I got some cheap beer for ya. Looks like we can sell some of our junk here. These Andar gems are worth a decent amount. Silver ring. Worn out boots he'll buy for one. Yeah, it was a delirious woman. Plus two arrows. Hmm. Fifty-four. Man, that would drop his Thaco by two. I think he has sixteen right now. I'd drop it to fourteen. But we go through those pretty quickly, probably. Bullets plus one. Ten of those for twenty-four. Hmm. Whoa, okay. I have like no money to buy this stuff. Look at that. Two handed sword. 1d10. Reflected image. The wizard creates one image of himself, Charles Long, and then is from all the actions that the wizard does. Gives a, it's kind of like a ring of protection, plus one saving throws and armor class. Not usable by a wizard slayer. Okay, well obviously there's got to be a way to make a lot of money in this game. It's been really weird these past few months. Iron's been going bad, falling apart, almost if they were rusting for no particular reason. From what I hear, most of this bad iron comes from mines at Nashco. Can't trust those Amnian miners. Probably some scheme they've come up with. Spit it out. Okay. Sorted. Sorted. Save. 
Um, can't remember the name of this town. Burkost or something like that. Not save. Oh, they won't allow that character. Um, let's put that down. There we go. You right. I'm on it. Hey, says them. Welcome to the stream. Friend. How are you doing? The iron comes from Nasatena. Okay, I already know that. Peasant tells me that Am has a huge army gathered there. They'll get the fight of their lives if they press for Baldur's Gate. Flaming Fist are among the best soldiers around. Town Crier. Hear ye, hear ye. By order of most radiant... Lathander, governor of Berg Bergost, in the best interest of its peoples, forthwith there will be a bounty placed on the head of the mad cleric Basilus for the crimes against nature. Ah, okay. Anyone bringing proof of his demise to the Song of the Morning Temple shall receive no less than 5,000 gold. Okay, well that's how we can get 5,000 gold. And track him down. Mm -hmm. Okay, have I been in here? No, I haven't. Locked. You need something. Business stranger. says, "Doesn't Savage Frontier take place in the same general area?" Yes, because it's been talking about water deep. Waterdeep and um, Lorien or something. There was another town in L Town that they were talking about. Cold day in Lower Plains before I risk my neck in the elven ruin of Firewine. Who knows what lurks around those type passages? Go off that salted. What? Okay, save. Simpler done than said. Spit it out, sorted. I'm on it. We just walk into this guy's house. You right. He has his door locked. And he just stands there. You said something. Welcome, my dear. You are early. Excuse me. Indeed, I was expecting visitors, but none such as you. Be gone, before my company arrives. I should not tolerate the mood being ruined by a band of. Miscreants. Okay, let's see if we can. Yes. Yes. Open this Simpler first. Simpler done than said. We'll take your gold. Go on, man. Sorted. Right. What's this then? <laughs> Could you imagine? People just walking into your place like this. Just walking right upstairs, taking whatever they want. Hmm? Surely. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Sorted. Okay, thank you. We got about 40 gold out of your place. Gargic. I'm on it. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. Bodyguards for my mi mistress. Rise looking for money. Tell us more. I'm Garrick. Work for Silky Rosina. 
Let's see. She's been having some problems. Some thugs have hired been hired by Felt Post to hurt her. Can't blame her for not showing up. She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. What do you say? Sorry, kid, not interested. That sounds fair. Why don't you show us to your mistress? Okay. I missed the chest there, Saz. I think you made a good decision. Now just meet me outside of the Red Sheaf Inn. Oh, it's the game's pulling us. Soon that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. It shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I advise you strike fast. Don't speak with them. One of them is a mage. Hey, here there they are. The thugs, strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you asked, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... <laughs> Shut up. No weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. There's good as dead. Stop this madness. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. Yeah, she seem, she's definitely seems like she's scamming us. That's very, very obvious. Our deal is off. In any case, you probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Okay. You rang. Sorted. So go on then. Uh, let me get rid of all this. I can't see. What now I wonder? Hmm? Yes. What? What is it? <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Death. <laughs> Sam Stamp says, hey, 300 gold is 300 gold. And Bo says, we don't murder innocent, we just rob them blind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 900 experience. Fine. Oh, 400 gold. <laughs> we actually got more gold than what she was going to pay us. Warrior staff. Potion of invulnerability. Very high resistance to all attacks when giving them bonus saving throws. Only be used by those trained in the martial arts. Okay, the monk finally has something useful. Plus five to saving throws, duration one hour. Nice. How are we doing with experience? Let's see. Next level in 767. 1600. 750. 1200. 536. 17. Gotcha. Payday, yeah. Quintran says, I was expecting you to be bodied by Silky, not going to lie. You mean she's like a good mage caster? Or? 
despedida. Killed. Killed. Okay. She's really strong. Ah, gotcha. You rang. Well, I must have got lucky there then. So let's talk with. Where did that one guy go? Here he is. Talk with him yes, again. Sir. Silky's dead. I guess she had it coming. You can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. It would be too much to ask to join up with you. We don't need anyone else. Go on, then. Sorry, buddy. We don't need anyone else. So I'm assuming I've been in here. Yeah, this is the end. Okay. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Let's go rest. Actually, we should probably talk with these guys. Hello. Thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of our appreciation. Potion of defense. Potion confers protection against physical attacks. Sets the armor class to zero for two hours. That's nice. That'd be good to put on that monk that seems to get hit by everything. Okay. You rang sorted. Oh, it's locked. Yes. Surely. Go on, then. I'm on it. She's like level five or six, really? I'm on it. <laughs> it's like how we just walk right into these people's houses. Hello there. Freedom in no mood to speak to anyone right now, especially if you've come about a, the job. Ain't gonna be no caravan now. So there ain't no job neither. Blast the bandits. Scared all the merchants so bad they won't budge. Might as well leave. Because you ain't going to find no work here. Hello. Sorry if I seem a touch flustered. I just don't want anyone upsetting my husband. Please leave. Spit it out. All right. She left. I'm on it. Let's see if we can steal their stuff before we go. Surely. Oh, she's following. Okay. We're You're not going right. to steal your stuff then. I'm on it. Alright, I think we did most of it. Alright, guys, I think this is a good place to start. Made some good progress. Looks like we explored most of this town. That was fun. Alright, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.